Salaam everyone. Welcome to the third part of integration. In this video, I'll cover the concept of volume of a solid form when a curve is rotated about 360 degree either in the x axis or in the y axis. So, let's begin with the concept. Volume of revolution. When any shaded part is revolved around the x axis 360 degree about the x axis for example so a solid would be formed when this part of the curve is rotated 360 about the x axis a solid would be formed and it will be a solid of revolution the rotation for the timing is about the x axis so you will you can visualize that a solid is being formed now if I divide that solid into smaller parts and each part would look something like this a cylinder with certain radius and the height of the cylinder or you can simply say the width of the cylinder this time is delta x so the volume of each cylinder any cylinder is pi times r square times h right in this example it would be the radius is equal to the y value this is the y value this is the y value so the radius is simply y so y square and the depth or the width of the cylinder is delta x now this is just for cylinder 1 right so let me write it y1 so the volume becomes pi times y1 square delta x similarly for the next cylinder it will be pi times y2 square delta x similarly for th third one it will be pi times y3 square delta x so if you keep on adding all the volumes of the cylinder from a particular lower limit to the upper limit you can get the volume of the entire solid being formed so I can say that if I need to find the volume of revolution around the x-axis if a curve is rotated 360 degree about the x-axis then the volume is simply pi integral f of x meaning the function the y values cos square dx so when when the curve is rotated about when the curve is rotated 360 degree about the x axis the function must be in terms of x okay and you will integ first of all you will square the function then you will integrate the function then apply the limits a and b and then multiply by y by pi similarly if the volume of revolution was around the y axis the difference that it will make is you will have to make x the subject and have a function in y so that function in y is squared up you need to integrate the function with respect to y axis and the limits this time would be of y values this answer must be multiplied by pi to get the volume of the revolution so let's look at some examples find the volume when the shaded region is rotated 360 degree in the x axis so if a shaded region is rotated 360 degree in the x axis you need a function in x which must be integrated with respect to x dx you will square the function apply the limits these limits must be the x values so in this func in this question the function is x squared plus 1 so you need to square the function the limits are from 1 to 3 expand the function so x squared plus 1 the whole thing squared would be x raised to the power of 4 2x squared plus 1 dx now you will integrate the function and after integration you get the 
the limits are 1 and 3. Just plug in the limits as 3 and 1. After evaluating the answer and multiplying it by pi, you get this value 1016 pi unit cube since we are dealing with volume. So this is the volume that will be generated when this figure would be rotated 360 degree about the x axis and a solid would be formed. So let's have a look of volume of revolution about the x axis generated between curves. So these are two curves and when the shaded region is rotated at 360 degree about the x axis a solid would be formed. But this solid would be a hollow solid. So the way so you can visualize this uh, this general sketch when rotated 360 degree it will look something like this a hollow solid would be formed. Now you need to figure out the volume of this figure through the integration process. So when you first of all what you can do is you can find the volume obtained when this curve is rotated 360 degree about the x axis and then you can find the volume generated by this curve when rotated about 360 degree in the x axis and then subtract the two volumes to get the volume obtained by obtained when this shaded region is rotated up 360 degree about the x axis. So how would you solve these questions? Subsequently what you need to do is you need to figure out the turning points so that you know from where to where you have to integrate what are your limits. So to start off this question you need to solve simultaneously the two equations. Square both sides. So one value of x is 0 and the other value comes out to be 4. So this limit is 0 and this limit is 4. Now what you can do is you can first of all find the volume obtained when the upper curve is rotated 360 degree and then we will find what is the volume when the lower curve is rotated 360 degree about the x axis. So, so your upper curve has an equation of y equals to square root of x. Let's find what will be the volume obtained when this region is rotated 360 degree about the x axis. And then you can find the volume obtained when the lower curve is rotated. 360 degree about the x axis so this volume would be pi times function in x ka square right so square root x squared dx you need to integrate it from 0 to 4 so pi, these simplifying this would give you x. Now you can easily integrate this x square over 2 and plug in the limits. So the volume come out to comes out to be 8 pi unit cube. Let's figure out this volume too. Pi 
integration from 0 to 4 this curve has a equation of this curve has a equation of x square over 8 okay and you need to square it so you can take 64 common out x raised to the power 4 dx the integration of x raised to the power 4 would be x raised to the power 5 over 5 limits are 4 0 just plug in the limits and you will get some value and I am getting 16 pi over 5 unit q so this is the volume generated when this lower curve is rotated about 360 degree and this is the volume this is the volume when this curve is rotated 360 degree about the x-axis okay now you need to subtract this volume from this volume to obtain a volume which will represent this figure so the required volume of the solid form would be 8 pi minus 16 pi over 5 24 pi over 5 unit cube that's your volume so let's look at the volume of revolution about the y-axis if your curve is being rotated about the y-axis a solid would be formed in the y-axis a solid would be formed when this curve is rotated 360 degree above in the y-axis yeah so let's figure out what the volume would be when this shaded area is rotated 360 degree about the y-axis now in order to find the volume in about the y-axis what you need to do first is have a function in terms of y you need to square it and then integrate it from the lower limit to the upper limit with respect to y and then multiply by pi okay so let's begin in this question you are being asked to find the volume generated when the shaded region is rotated 360 degree about the y-axis so the first thing that you need to understand is uh, make the function in, come in y so if y is equal to x q so x would be equal to y raised to the power of 1 over 3 okay and now in order to find the volume it will be pi times integration of function in y squared so function in y is y raised to the power of 1 over 3 you need to square this function integrate it with respect to y and the lower limits are 1 and the upper limit is 8 so pi y raised to the power of 2 over 3 dy now you will integrate this function so integration of y raised to the power 2 over 3 would be y over y raised to the power of 2 over 3 plus 1 which is 5 over 3 divided by 5 over 3 and the lower limits are 1 and 8 when you plug in the limits okay this 5 over 3 can be written like this 3 pi over 5 y raised to the power of 5 over 3 the lower limits and upper limits and after plugging in the values you get 93 pi over 5 unit cube so this is the volume generated when your curve would be rotated 360 degree about the y-axis in this example you need to find the revolution volume of revolution about the y-axis generated between curves so one curve is y equals to x squared the other is a line y equals to 2x you need to find the volume when this shaded region is rotated 360 degree about the y-axis so if you can just visualize this this shaded part when it will be rotated about the y-axis will form a solid and that would be a hollow solid okay so let's begin with the working of this part 
so you already know the lower limits in y and this value is 1 but you need to figure out this upper limit so you need to solve the two equations simultaneously first Yeah, so the x value is 2, but we need to figure out what is, will be the y value when x is 2. So when x is 2, what y would be 2 times 2, 4. So this value is 4. Now we will have to integrate our function from 1 to 4. The lower limit would be 1 and the upper limit would be 4. Now the next step would be to make a function in y. So the curve y equals to x square. So you need to make x a subject you will get y raised to the power of half. And the e equation y equals to 2x if you make x the subject you get x equals to y over 2. So these are your functions in y. In order to find the first volume generated by this curve you will have to square the function and integrate it from 1 to 4 and then times pi multiplied by pi so pi 1 4 this would be y dy the integration of this would be y square over 2 and just plug in the limits as 4 1 and 4 so upper limit first lower limit then and you get after simplifying this and evaluating the volume from here you will get 15 pi over 2 unit q so this is the volume generated when this part of the curve was rotated about 360 degree something like this now the next volume would be obtained when the line y equals to 2x was rotated about the x-axis. So y upon 2 squared dy, the lower limit is 1, the upper limit is 4 and you need to, after integrating it, you need to multiply it by 5. So this will be, uh, if you can simplify this expression, pi over 4. 1 4 y square dy integration of y square would be y cube upon 3 after plugging plugging in the limits you must get 21 pi over 4 unit cube okay now in order to find the required volume when the shaded region was rotated so a volume would be formed a volume was formed when this part of the curve was rotated about 360 degree in the y-axis then a volume volume is obtained when this part of the line is rotated about 360 degree in the y-axis but we want to find when the volume when this shaded part was rotated 360 degree so this will be obtained by subtracting the answers 15 pi over 2 minus 21 pi over 4 and you get 9 pi over 4 unit q so this brings us to the end of our integration topic i hope this these all videos are helpful for you thank you so much